What's up guys? How are you doing? I hope you're great. My name is Jesse and welcome to yet another amazing story today. Today I'm actually going to show you how you can actually use a Lisp application to do auto dimension within AutoCAD. Let us start the tutorial. So, as you see here, uh, this is that that I collected the other day when I went in the field. This is plot 1, plot 2, plot 3. And this is an access road that leads to plot 2 and plot 3. Assuming I want to label the dimensions of these sides of the plot automatically, and I don't want to waste a lot of time, I can use an AutoCAD Lisp to do that. So, the first thing you should do is to come here to the command window and type AP then press enter ap means upload so you click this upload so when you click upload you will browse to the folder where you have saved your what your lisp application and in this case i have saved it here and it is dime pol d i m p o l y click it and then say load and then click click load and then click close so I have shared the link to download this AutoCAD Lisp in the description of this video. Just check down there and then you'll be able to download this what? This AutoCAD Lisp. So, after importing this AutoCAD Lisp, the next thing you should do is to come to the dimensions here and make sure you have modified and set your dimensions in the what? In the most appropriate way. Make sure you select the the, the what the right font name me i like cambria you can make it actually bold or regular and then you have to choose the what the height of the labels or the dimensions and then click set current and then you can come here and change a few parameters the precision you know the suffix the prefix uh, you can come here and customize it the way you want you know and then after customizing it, you press OK, and then click Set Current, and then press Close. So, remember, we have already imported our AutoCAD Lisp. So, what you do is you come to the command prompt, and then type DP. You see DP and DPI? So, this DPO means Dimensions Polyline Outside, you know? DPO means dimension polyline outside and then DPI means dimension polyline inside. So if I want to create the dimensions of the polyline from the inside, I'll press DPI and then you see select the polyline and then I'll come here and then I'll select the what? This polyline. As you can see, the dimensions have been put where? From inside. So let me assume I want to put them outside. I'll just put D, P, O. And then I click enter. And then click on this. Are you seeing? It has been done from outside. So by using D, P, O and D, P, I, I can be able to create dimension for all my polylines automatically. Are you seeing? Are you seeing? Are you seeing? So let me just, let me remove these ones. And then I put them on the outside. I press D, D, P, I. And then I click here. Guys, that's how you can create automatic dimensions within AutoCAD. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. Thank you.